Hi guys, this is here with an other video on easy math. Today we are going to learn about diameter of a circle. Okay, you all may think, we know what is diameter. It is the longest cord and it is the cord that passes through the center of the circle. Then, why again discussing diameter? Because there is another way to understand a diameter. The diameter is not just the longest cord or the cord that passes through the center of the circle but it is also the locus of the middle point of parallel cords of a circle middle points of system of parallel cords of a circle if there are some parallel cords to a circle imagine there is a circle and some parallel cords and the middle point of those parallel cords the locus of the middle point of those parallel cords is called a diameter. First, let's see a theorem. The equation of diameter bisecting parallel cords y is equal to mx plus c where c is a parameter. y is equal to mx plus c means a cord of slope m. The slope is same throughout means those are the parallel cords. Where c is a parameter means it may be varying. So y is equal to mx plus c is system of cords, infinity cords, parallel to each other. And of the circle, x square plus y square is equal to a square. Equation of the diameter bisecting these cords, these are the cords to the circle, x square plus y square is equal to a square. And the equation of the diameter is x plus my is equal to 0. Now let's see how can we prove this. Okay, let the midpoint of the cord y is equal to mx plus c be h comma k and let this line meet the circle at two points a and b. Let this line meet the circle at two points a and b. Now how to find the values of a and b? We can easily solve the equations y is equal to mx plus c and x square plus y square is equal to a square y is equal to mx plus c or the cords to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square, right? Means if you solve these two equations, you will get two values. Those are nothing but a and b. Now, for solving this, we have y is equal to mx plus c, right? Substitute this y value in the circle equation. You will get x square plus mx plus c whole square is equal to a square. Means x square plus mx plus c whole square is nothing but m square x square plus 2mcx plus c square is equal to a square. Now, if we take x square common from the first two terms, you will get x square into 1 plus m square plus 2mcx plus c square minus a square is equal to 0. This, let it be equation number 1. Now, as you guys can observe, this is a quadratic equation. But if we solve this quadratic equation, we will get the coordinates of A and B, the x coordinates of A and B. But there is another way of solving this. Instead of solving this, we need the midpoint. We need the locus of the midpoints, right? There is another way to do that. Let's see what it is. Now, let us imagine that the coordinates of the points A and B are x1, y1 and x2, y2. Then clearly we know that x1, y1 are the roots, x1, x2 are the roots of the equation number 1, right? x1, x2 are the roots of the equation number 1. It means that what is the sum of roots of a quadratic equation? It is negative b by a, right? sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is nothing but negative b by a where b is the coefficient of x and a is the coefficient of x square. Now in our equation the coefficient of x is minus 2mc and the coefficient of x square is 1 plus m square so x1 plus x2 is nothing but minus 2mc by 1 plus m square. If we divide both sides by 2 this 2 in the numerator cancels out. So you will get x1 plus x2 by 2 is equal to minus mc by 1 plus m square. Okay, why have I found x1 plus x2 by 2 instead of finding the values of x1 and x2? It is because that x1 plus x2 by 2 is nothing but the midpoint of the 
line segment AB, right? The midpoint of the line segment AB is nothing but the x coordinate of P. So it is H. We know, now we know that H is equal to minus mc by 1 plus m square. Means multiply with 1 plus m square on both sides. You will get H into 1 plus m square is equal to minus mc. Now, if I send m to the other side or divide by minus m on both sides, you will get minus h into 1 plus m square by m is equal to c. Let it be equation number 2. Now, h comma k lies on the line y is equal to mx plus c, right? So, you can substitute the values of h in place of y and k in place of x. Note, an important note is that this line means the diameter is perpendicular to the parallel chords. We have imagined that y is equal to mx plus c is the equation of the parallel chords, right? Now, this diameter will be perpendicular to the chords. And this diameter also passes through the center of the circle. Diameter also passes through the center of the circle. Now, let us see an example to understand this well. Find the equation of the diameter of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 general form of a circle which corresponds to the chord ax plus by plus k is equal to 0. You should find the diameter of the general form of the circle which through the chord ax plus by plus k is equal to 0. Now, what is the center of this circle? We know that it is nothing but minus g comma minus f. Now, what is the slope of the diameter? Okay, we are not doing this in the previous way. We are doing this in a small different way. That is, here the equation of the diameter. We should find the equation of the diameter. According to this note, the diameter will be perpendicular to the chords and passes through the center of the circle. We know center of the circle is minus g comma minus f and slope of the diameter. We need the slope of the diameter, right? Slope of the diameter is nothing but it is perpendicular to the chord, right? It is perpendicular to the chord. So, the product of slope of diameter and the slope of chord is nothing but negative 1. Means slope of diameter is negative 1 over slope of the chord. Now here, what is the slope of this chord? If I send ax to the other side, you will get by is equal to minus ax minus k. Means y is equal to minus a by bx plus minus k by b. Means the slope is nothing but minus a by b because it is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, right? Here we, in the place of m, we have minus a by b. So, we will have minus 1 over minus a by b. Or minus and minus becomes positive and a by b becomes b by a. It is nothing but b by a. So, the slope of the diameter is nothing but b by a. Now, we know the slope of the diameter is b by a and it passes through the point minus g comma minus f. Now, we know the slope point form of a straight line, right? y minus k is equal to y minus y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Here, y1 is nothing but minus f. So, y minus of minus f means y plus f is equal to m is nothing but the slope. So, it is b by a into x plus g. x minus of minus g. So, x plus g. y plus f is equal to b by a into x plus g. If you simplify this, you will get bx minus a y plus bg minus a f is equal to 0. This is the equation of the diameter. Okay, guys. This is for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you not, comment down below why you haven't. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.